Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today we got a live reverse the verse about the new flight mechanics for 3.4. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 13 seconds. There are three considerations. A World War II plane style with high forward movement and no slide like a plane. The asteroid style, meaning the Atari game, not an object in space. This is forward movement, but flight is based on the main engine. You need to pitch and burn to change vector as retro thrusters are much weaker than the main. You'll see this a lot in sci-fi TV shows. And the six degrees of freedom, which is most alien ships. Ships like the Xi'an Scout will have a unique thruster mechanic, which lets you vector consistent thrust in the desired direction. The panel said they wished to balance this, but as a person who's been flying since 2014, 100% of this panel made my hair stand up. They're thinking that all of this is going to reduce the kill jousting in general, and I believe that to be successful. Most human ships won't have six degrees of freedom. Most alien ships might be balanced by reducing the weapons loadout. Plane looking ships in atmosphere will carve, not strafe or drift. Cap ships will continue to be slow because of their mass. Cap ships will need kilometers of runout to stop. Cargo weight will play directly into the ship flight. If you unbalance the cargo load, you're going to be able to detect it when you're flying. If you overload a ship and try to take off, you won't. If you try to land too heavy or on a high G planet, you're simply going to crash. Eventually, ships with wheels like an M50 will be able to take off like a plane, but not now. Gravlev speeders are going to drift like a jet ski. Lift is going to be a massive consideration for ships that have wings. If a plane-like ship has a higher power to weight ratio, it can take off ballistically. Damage will not immediately cause drag, but mass is a factor. Losing a wing will change the mass. VTOL is going to be usable without deploying the landing gear. It would be possible with the new flight model to put a javelin down on a planet and then it lacking the required thrust to take off. There are further changes that might be made to aiming with mouse and keyboard. The scythe being asymmetrical will probably yaw and roll. The Mercury's mass because it's centered means that it should fly well even though it's asymmetrical. So what the hell does that all mean to me? As I said before, this is a ton to take in. It sounds like everything we knew about flying human ships is being thrown out the effing window. A clean slate. Don't worry, I'm going to be tracking this subject with extreme interest, as it is implications for racing, cargo, dogfighting, and specifically what ships you have in your fleet. Is there any more reason to keep a saber or hornet, or should I be unmelting my glaive? Is the Banu Defender going to be a better fighter than all the other ones just because it's alien? Stay tuned, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.